Right, stick with this video. It's going to show you how to use your Viva MK online shop using the buy now function and also how to do a dropship or a direct dispatch and how to use the e-wallet as well. So we go to vivamk.co.uk, go to sign in and then fill in your password and then put in the capture code and if you want your computer to remember it just click remember me on this device click sign in and then that will take you to your Viva MK website your back office I say it's got all the back office stuff there I'm not going to go through that now uh, so we go to shop click buy now and the good thing about the buy now page is it has got a search function on there so what you need to do is just enter the code number of the product you want or you can put the description and I'm going to put in going to put in the word sleep and look for sleep so go to go click go and then that should find the product so sleep easy lavender and if that's the product you want just click add to cart and then that goes into the cart it shows over there it shows the cv and it shows how much you need to pay depending whether you're on the 25 percent or the 35 percent commission it will actually show you what you need to pay and this i'm just doing it as a test so now i'm just going to go to check out if you've got more items obviously just keep adding them into the search and add it into the cart so now we go to check out and then that comes to this page if you're having it delivered to yourself make sure your details are correct there and if you want it going to somewhere else then you need to click ship to different address and then scroll down and enter the details of who you're going to send it to I'm going to have this delivered to me so I'm not going to enter all the details in there but the important thing is if you're having it sent to a customer say you're doing a Facebook advert and you've got to post it somewhere differently make sure you get the money off the customer first and then do the dropship or the direct dispatch and put their details in and if you put their mobile number in and their email address then they'll get notification from DPD when their delivery is going to be done and that's a nice touch for those customers keeping them informed when they're getting the delivery so I'm going to leave that as it is I'm going to unclick that but like I say if you send it to a different address make sure you fill that in and another thing to check if you haven't been on this site make sure your details are correct uh, your telephone number and if it's a corrupted phone number if you've got anything that's not correct all you need to do is go to profile personal information and then you can change your phone number your email address to the correct one and sometimes uh, one or two people have had an issue where even if they've used the credit card in the past then it's not showing up in there then all you need to do is go to debit and credit card and then re-enter your details and click save and then it will appear I had to do it but in this example I'm just going to use the e-wallet so you can see now the shipping information direct three items or less is 395 so that's going to be that item plus the postage of 395 so that is selected there so now what we do is you can click shipping so it goes it's something they they uh, having issues with so if you select shipping then it will go to that address that you'd selected and because we're going to do an e-wallet we're not interested in the credit card so just click e-wallet and here now you need to enter a pin number your personal identification number and at the moment that's the last four digits of your Viva MK distributor number and a quick way to find that if you're not sure about it it will show at the top 
if it doesn't show at the top then if you go into profile personal information then it comes out at the top of there where it will show those last four so I'm going to go back now and then I'll show you what happens when you do the e-wallet so select e-wallet put in those last four digits and then click apply and that will show you your account balance so now this is your wallet details so I've got a balance of £25 in that wallet so the order is going to be 785 so that's the 325 plus the postage so there is enough money in that wallet to actually get that order sent through and if there wasn't enough money in that wallet it would show what you need to pay by a, a credit card to actually accept that total order so I'm going to go for this now I'm going to accept that so make sure you click terms and conditions have been read we've got no coupon details there so just click place order now and now it's your last chance do you really want to place it if so click OK and then hopefully that will go through let's have a look yes and so I don't want to you save that so now that order has gone through here's the receipt it's there I say if you change the address that would go to that address and everything has gone through it shows a breakdown there so you can actually print that out or save it so save or print or you can actually email a receipt as well so I hope that helps I like say a bit complicated but just go through it slowly and uh, you'll get used to it it's like anything the more you do it the easier it gets okay bye now